Hey, Dad. I know that we're gearing up for September, and I know that our lesson program, we try to keep it fun. But I was curious, when did the deciding factor of making lessons fun happen? Because I know that um, when I took lessons as a kid, they weren't particularly fun. And I know that mom's lessons weren't fun. So when did you guys, as Sound of Music, decide that lessons had to be fun to be fun? Well, in actuality, right, when your mom first started taking uh, lessons, they were fun for her. Well, when she started taking lessons with when, you. When she started taking the, the free organ lessons mm -hmm. right, that we used to hold the classes. And that was basically how to learn to use the instruments. So the actual music part, if you get a music teacher that's, that's so concentrated on, let's get the right note at the right time, at the right speed. With the right finger. With the right finger, right. And if you're missing a finger, I guess I can't teach you or a kind of, of, of attitude, right? What happens, right, is that it becomes more and more difficult and more of a struggle. Right? And no fun. And no fun, right, because nobody's enjoying it, right? Because if you're, you're kept telling, no, no you're, using, you're using the wrong finger, you have to use this finger, right? It's sort of like corralling a person. Snapping so, them across the hand with a pencil. Exactly. So I, I've always maintained, I used to, when we were teaching, whenever I you use one finger, I don't care, right? It, it doesn't matter if, it's, if that's all you want to do. It doesn't matter, you're still making music, right? You're still making sounds. And you're having fun doing it, you're still using the cognitiveness of the brain. If you use many fingers, of course, you can learn to play faster, right? It's a simple thing, so you can play faster, some of more complex structures. But the idea is to make it fun, right? Is to always find a way of creating an atmosphere whereby there's a challenge to it, but it's not overly challenging so that they feel successful, right? And rewarding them at the end of the day with gummy bears or something always helps too. You know? Yes. <laughs> and that kind of thing. Yeah, but so sound and music always has had this, this creative thing of making it fun. To bring it into a program, the first program where we were able to bring children in or young ones in, right, was uh, created through the techniques, the uh, music company, the techniques, keyboard instruments, and they developed a pop keyboard program that we utilize. And basically that's sort of the, the structural theory that we still use uh, today right? Mostly. In, in that program. So yeah, we've always tried to make it fun, so there you go. All right, thank you. Bye.